What's up everybody, the Sexy Monkey here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you my awesome cobblestone generator. And um, basically what it does is, once all the cobblestone has filled up in um, my little turtle down here, um, it flows down a water stream, comes out here, lands on this pressure plate, and uh, trips off this alarm. I'll put my sound up a little bit so you can hear it. Yeah, that alarm. So it'll it'll do that and uh, just have a little reset button here. And um, so yeah, this is basically what I'm going to be doing for this video. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about some uh, a little bit of useful methods for a turtle in the computer craft mod. And um, I know Seth Bling is doing this already, but I'd figure I add on to it. He's showing you guys uh, basic Lua, but I'm going to be showing you guys useful functions in what might be a series. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a water bucket and a lava bucket and a block of your choice. I'm going to make this. Um, just make this little ring and it needs to be four long so one two three four like so so four long on the inside not the outside on the outside it's uh, three six long on one of the sides dig out one of these middle blocks <clears throat> put the water source block on the block that is broken that you just broke out basically and then put the water right there and that'll keep generating cobblestone forever so now we can actually go in here and grab a mining turtle and we're gonna do some useful things with it so basically the first thing you need for a turtle is some fuel so just put the fuel in and we'll type in refuel 64 so we'll have tons of fuel and we're going to make a simple program called a round and we're just basically going to make the turtle uh, turn right twice so it does like a 360 and that's useful so we don't have to type it in many times so around and there it is okay so it's facing this block and we need to write a little program to do something so we're going to go edit gen we're going to say while true do if turtle dot detect uh, then turtle dot dig end okay so that's basically a basic cobblestone generator right there this code is basically saying while the condition is true which is always gonna be true because there's always gonna be a block in front of it and if it's not true it's not gonna do anything because we didn't set up an argument for that so when it's true, the, if the turtle detects something in front of it, it's going to dig it out and collect it. And that's it. But what we want to make it do is empty out the cobblestone once it gets full. And I'm not going to show you how to bring it to a collection point or anything like that. I'm just showing you a basic thing. And it's just going to drop the cobblestone. So we need to make a variable. I'll call it um, x equals turtle dot get item count 16 okay so if x equals 64 then um for i equals 1 through 16 do turtle dot select i turtle dot drop end turtle dot select 1 end and end so that should be it so let's test that out um, just type in gen and there it goes it's gonna collect all the cobblestone now so what I'm gonna basically do here is I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of you know random blocks blah, blah, blah. and I'm just gonna fill the turtle up with them until it gets up to 16 whatever Alright, so you can see once it gets up to 16, it just spews them all out and resets itself, basically. 
So once all the items are clear, there it goes. And then the collection uh, percentage isn't like very, very high, but it still works. Okay, so the next turtle I'm going to show you is the Stair Builder Turtle. And basically, it's just going to build you a staircase as high as you want, as long as you have the blocks for it. So I'm going to type in stair, and well, we're going to watch the magic happen. So first, the turtle detects what happens, and then um, how many blocks there is, and then it builds a stair case, depending on how much there is. And, um, yeah. So let's jump into how you do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to say, while turtle dot detect uh, do turtle dot up end and that's basically gonna make it um, check to see how many blocks there are essentially and we're gonna go turtle dot down turtle dot back and turtle dot place oh yeah and by the way guys if you don't know what I'm saying while I'm typing it don't worry, I usually provide an explanation after I'm done. So basically, what this is saying is we're going to make it, when it goes up here, it's going to go up one block further. So once there's nothing in front of it, it's going to go back down. It's going to go back one, and it's going to place one in front of it. And then we're going to go while not turtle.detect down do. So this checks to see if there's nothing beneath the, this is basically saying while there's nothing beneath the turtle, do whatever you want to do. So it's going to be turtle dot back, turtle dot down, turtle dot place, end. And we can go print staircase built. So now, if we type in our program, you can see it's going to start doing exactly what we wanted it to do. So there you go. There's another one. So the next turtle I'm going to show you is the Lumberjack Turtle, and this can basically be used to cut down trees, or in my case, a standstone. But it can be used for trees too. So you're going to go, I'm going to type in what I made. And it's going to chop it, and it's going to go up. And while there's no more tree left, it's going to come back down. And it's going to finish. So I'll show you how to do that now. So now, what we need to do is we need to do while turtle.detect do turtle.dig turtle.up uh, and, and then we can go while not turtle dot detect and not turtle dot detect down do uh, turtle dot down uh, and that's basically it so this is saying while the turtle sees something in front of it dig it out and then go up one and when there's nothing in front of it and there's nothing beneath it, um whoops when there's nothing in front of it and there's uh, nothing beneath it, it's just gonna come back down. So we'll run that and see how that works. And it does exactly what we want it to do. By the way, that roller coaster right there, yes, it is a roller coaster. You can kind of see the power tracks and stuff, was made by uh, two turtles that I had going at it. And it came out pretty good. It's at 255, I believe, on the Y axis. But that's a different story. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this tutorial, then please feel free to leave a like. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.